Hi everyone, I'm happy to see you again today and I wish you a happy new year 2022. May it fill you with joy, happiness and love and above all keep you healthy. So I'm going to make a mixed media layout with several photos gathering my best moments of the year 2021. So I start by cutting a white cardstock with clear gesso. When everything is dry, I then glue the photo strips by shifting them for more fun. I added 3D foam under a few strips to have a nice dimensions effect. I was able to add 40 photos by making the strips. Every year, I like to make a recap of my best memories of the year in layouts. A good way to keep all these memories in one place to remember them faster without forgetting them. When everything is in place, I start decorating. I have previously selected embellishments in pink-orange tones from the beautiful kits of December 2021, including only exclusives. These kits are just superb with their pastel color. I also cut out a few flowers from the winter floral pattern paper. So the decoration and the mixed media will be simple enough with all these photos not to overload the layout and so that visually is still harmonious. I will make a mirror decoration with a cluster of embellishments above the photos on the left and below the photos on the right. I add flowers and tabs from embellishment kits. Before I go any further, I add a little ink. I choose Chimmer Inklings Gauche Garnet ink, which fits perfectly with the color of the embellishment because it has pink gold reflections, just super. So I apply this ink under the cluster of embellishments and I widen the area to the edge um, of the page and make a triangle. I dry everything well and I will add a little ink at the end. So I glue the flowers and add a sticker that I cut in half to have a piece at the top and bottom. 
It's a cardstock mini stickers from Pocket Life Kids. I will then decorate the photos a little bit with small things like chipboard frame and chipboard mini phrase so as not to overload the visual but also so that the photos stay visible. I try to place the mini embellishments harmoniously without sticking them too much in them and I glue them with 3D foam to bring value. You can find these mini chipboards in the main kit and the pocket life kit. I also place the title at the top of my layout in the center to give me an overview. I then add a few leaves cut out of the same paper as the flowers. I used the dies set from the Sweater Weather collection from October 2021 kit and the Citrus Slice cardstock to make leaves that I insert in the cluster of embellishments. I love these dies. I like to add foliage in my layouts and um, I think I will use them very often. So I add a few more chipboards here and there.
To complete my title, I use my Puffy alphabet from the Witch Season collection of the November 2021 kit and I made the phrase goodbye 2021 that I glue first and then I add a die cut from the main kit and below a chipboard year in review from embellishment kit. So I add a little more ink to darken the color and to bring depth by making a gradient. I add some flowers near the title and I finish with splashes of black ink to bring contrast and obviously because I love it. And here is the result a little closer. I hope this layout has inspired you for a future project. I love making it and immersing myself in all these beautiful memories. It's a very easy page to make with small details that I love bringing and that makes it so precious. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a beautiful day full of creativity. See you soon.